Yeah, I swear to God, this better be the last of them. Cause I swear to God, if I gotta deal with one more freaking alien. There's something behind me, isn't there? Okay, before you eat me, can I just say one thing? You are literally like the coolest alien ever. I beg to differ. Hey Rangers, welcome to Super Important Reviews. My name is Steve, and thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys have been super supportive of this channel. Awesome. And as a big thank you to you guys, gonna be doing some fan requested reviews, which these are mainly just toys that I've used for comparisons for other videos, like this bad boy here, the Glob Large Scale Starship Troopers Warrior Alien. And if I remember correctly, this figure was a request from Recon Sevilla. And again, thank you for chiming in the comment section of a figure you wanted to check out. Glad to put up a video for you. And also put up a video on the Geek Chest of a tour of my collection. And if you guys see any extra figures that you want me to review over there, definitely be sure to chime in the comment section of that video so that I can hopefully try to get out a video. Can't guarantee it, but I'll try my best. And without further ado, we're gonna get right into this figure right here, which uh, just to give you guys a heads up, I've had this figure for a while now. This figure came out in 97, I believe. And it has been played with, so if you notice any little scuffs of paint or anything that might be missing, which this guy is actually 100% complete, but he does have some minor wear just because of how stupid old he is. But just wanted to give you guys a heads up because this is not a pristine version of this figure, which you can actually still find this guy in the packaging on eBay. You're going to be paying a little bit more for it. But for this review, just going to go over the one I got. All right, so first and foremost, the main reason I have this figure still sitting around which, for starters, is definitely one of my favorite aliens in all the movie cinema, next to the Xenomorphs from the Alien franchise. These guys would probably be my next one in terms of favorite aliens. Just because I really love the insectile look of these guys. I think they look freaking awesome. And it's a very unique look for an alien, especially in terms of just being insectile. Because it's kind of like a mix between a prey mantis and a weird Hercules beetle. And then it just has a bunch of other traits, like spiderish kind of qualities, especially right here with like the little black widow insignia kind of coming across the top of his head. I just always thought he was just a really awesome looking alien, also super intimidating because it just takes so many guys to take down one of these aliens. Like I'm pretty sure this guy would just destroy Xeno for the most part, which is why I definitely wanted to keep at least one of the figures of these guys around in my collection. I used to have a bunch of the littler guys, but over time, those guys just kind of disappeared out of my collection. But this large guy is the one that just kind of stuck around me because I do love me some large action figures. And you might see in the video, uh, Boba Fett's kind of chilling on top of him originally. It's kind of like his little steed. And I mainly just kept this guy around because I just thought he was the best representation of the warrior alien. Especially for how large he is and how posable he is. He actually, just being a kid's doy, like, this thing has an amazing amount of detail and getting into it. So for starters, it's kind of hard to pick a specific spot. So I'm going to go with the upper portion of the body here, which the details on this thing are freaking fantastic, especially just, again, it being a kid's toy, I love how it has all the little bumps and grooves right here on the exterior of the shell. Looks really nice, especially with the paint job here, where he has a lot of blacks, yellows, and reds for the more tribal insignias on the top, and then the yellow right here coming along the mouth region. Really love the shape of this too, where, especially looking at it from the top, it just has a really huge more beetle-esque top and then especially coming around here to the eyes which is a weird spot to have eyes on a bug but you have his eyes right here at the base of his mouth which just seems like a really odd spot to have eyeballs but i guess it's not really like intruding like if you have the mouth closed these wouldn't be really blocking his eyesight and it's also pretty well protected too because of his little claws right here I just imagine like his side vision would be atrocious. But pretty much for the rest of his details, arms look really nice as well, where they have these nice prey mantis look to it. Paint job's really good on him, and again has more of the grooves on here on the exterior of the shell here, where it gives it a nice texture. It makes him feel very organic. Then moving along to the base of the body here, also see more of the little bumps right there to give him a little bit of character. Sadly, nothing on the underbelly, but you do get a little bit of details here for the exterior of the shell where it kind of gets the little grooves here, just like you would see on like the bottom of a crab. And then it kind of splits off into the legs here, which the legs like freaking awesome as well. Paint job bottom is really nice where mostly it's normal paint, but then you get a little bit of airbrushing technique here for the black and stuff. Like for it being a, just a normal action figure, like he has a lot of very impressive details. Like they 
Add these nice little touches just to give the figure a little bit more character, which I can really appreciate. And what's also really nice about this too, it's actually fairly articulated too, where the arms are on ball joints so they can actually, uh, reach of the arms, they can move about that far back, that far forward, have a decent amount of wiggle to them. And overall, they actually have a pretty large range of play to these. Can even shift side to side, which is really nice. The mouth can move up and down, but we'll go over that in just a second because that's part of his little gimmick. He can also rotate here at the lower part of his waist where it connects to the legs right here. And then if you kind of rotate the legs around, he does have the capability of rotating all the way around. Oh, and you guys are hearing it. <laughs> and then for the legs, they can rotate all the way around. Can also lift up and down a little bit. Cannot go side to the side though, sadly. But for being a very large scale figure, still pretty impressed with his overall details and the articulation. Like he looks freaking awesome just standing here. Like, especially if you're gonna be having like something like this standing on your shelf and really love the warrior alien, then this doesn't really get a whole lot better. Plus he has a gimmick, which for his mouth, if you open his mouth, then you go to close again. You get that really loud, awesome crunching sound, which uh, they did have the actual human characters go along with it, so you can kind of have them chilling inside of the mouth, and then he just opens, closes, and now he's just devouring his prey. And also, on the top of his head, too, there's also a little button right here where you get the alien screech. Which, I actually had to go find some LR44s, which, you have to put it in right here, which is uh, actually a bit of a pain in the butt. And the only real complaint I have about this entire figure in general is that the batteries are a bitch to put in. And for some quick comparison, here he is with the NECA Godzilla 2014 12-inch lawn figure and the X plus 25 centimeter burning Godzilla. And here is next to some Kenner alien action figures with the Alien King and the Cobra Alien. Which the Cobra Alien is freaking sweet. And here it is next to the NECA Alien Queen and the Square Enix Spitter Alien from Colonial Marines. And we have another obscure action figure here with the 1998 Battle Ravage Robot from Lost in Space. And also... Yeah. So overall with the Glob Warrior Alien from Starship Troopers, I really love this figure. Of all the Starship Troopers figures I've had over the years, this is the only one I decided to keep in my collection, just because I think it's the best representation of the warrior alien that they've ever put out. Minus statues, but keeping it in the realm of kids' toys, this thing is amazing. And if you guys are really into the old Starship Trooper films, then you guys definitely need to be getting this guy for your collection. And he runs around on eBay, I would say he's about $30, and if you want him in the box brand new, he's gonna run somewhere about $60 to $70 which isn't that bad for an older action figure. So what do you guys think? Have you guys ever owned any of the Starship Trooper action figures? What's your favorite Starship Trooper collectible? Or is Xeno's just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. We'll closer pictures guy on Facebook. If you want to click the link in the description below. Help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe to become a ranger today. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.